Hello guys, welcome back. This is Learning with Michelle, and in today's video, we'll be finishing questions 6, 7, and 8 of the NYC Mathematics State Exam, Grade 3. You can see that there are questions 10, 11, and 12 here, but they don't really write the correct order of the questions. So, um... That's why there's different numbers. So, for the first question, it says, Zach earns the same amount of money each week doing yard work. If he earns $36 at the end of four weeks, how much money does Zach earn each week? So, it says he earns $36 at the end of four weeks. During each week, you have to... Um, I mean, you have to divide it in order to figure out how much he makes during each week. So what is 36 divided by four? Well, 36 divided by four equals nine. So at the end of each week, I mean, during each week, he earns $9. Okay, for the next question. What is the value of 7 times 70? This can seem like a very difficult problem because there are big numbers. I mean, there's only one big number, but it's going to make the problem a bit difficult for you. But you can do a little trick. With numbers that end with 0, you just need to multiply the first digit of the number with the, with the different number. 7 times 70. First, do 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is what? It's 49. And then you just add a 0 at the end because there's one 0 at the end of this whole expression. So 490 is the answer. So the, so the answer is C. And finally, for the third question, it says, a student draws a rectangle on a sheet of paper. He labels two of the sides one unit and the other two sides two units. What is the area of the rectangle? So here is a rectangle and two of the sides one unit and the other two sides two units. The area of a rectangle, I'm writing it down here. The area of a rectangle is a length times width. So the length is 1 and the width is 2. So 2, I mean, I'm just going to write it down here so it'll correlate. Oops, let me just. Okay, so we're doing 1 times 2, which is equal to 2. The area of the rectangle is 2. Okay, but there are different things. Units, I mean, we can get rid of 4, and we can also get rid of 6, and we can also get rid of 4 square units. Just get 2, then you get 2 square units. The difference between units and square units the square units means that the area and the units are meant for things that are not area related. So A is the answer for number 12. Okay, guys, that is all for today. And I hope you found this video useful. Bye.